Have you ever felt like your credit card wasn't quite cutting it? Maybe you've been using the Chase Sapphire Preferred for a while, but now you're finding that the annual fee is just too steep. Or perhaps you found a card that better suits your current needs. Whatever the reason, downgrading your Chase Sapphire Preferred might be the right move. But how do you do it without losing all those valuable rewards? Let's take a step back. The Chase Sapphire Preferred is a popular credit card known for its generous travel rewards. It's a great card for frequent travelers who want to earn points that can be redeemed for flights, hotels, and other travel expenses. However, the annual fee can be a bit of a sticker shock, especially if you're not using the card to its full potential. Downgrading options. So, what are your options if you want to downgrade your Chase Sapphire Preferred? Well, you can either downgrade to another Chase card or close the account altogether. Downgrading to another Chase card. If you want to stay within the Chase family, there are a few options available. Here are some popular choices. Chase Freedom Flex. This card offers a rotating 5% cash back bonus on different categories each quarter. It's a good option if you're looking for a more flexible rewards card. Chase Freedom Unlimited. This card offers a flat 1.5% cash back on all purchases. It's a simple and straightforward card that's good for everyday spending. Chase Inc. Business Preferred. If you're a small business owner, this card offers a 3x points bonus on travel and dining purchases. It's a great option for businesses that have a lot of travel expenses. Closing the account. If you decide to close your Chase Sapphire Preferred account, there are a few things to keep in mind. First, you'll want to make sure you've paid off your balance in full. Second, closing the account could have an impact on your credit score, especially if you've had the card for a long time. Factors to consider. Before you decide to downgrade or close your Chase Sapphire Preferred, there are a few factors you should consider. Annual fee. Is the annual fee worth the benefits you're getting? Rewards. Are you using the card enough to earn the rewards you want? Credit score. How will closing the account impact your credit score? Steps to downgrade. Once you've decided to downgrade or close your Chase Sapphire Preferred, here are the steps you need to take. Contact Chase. Call Chase Customer Service and let them know that you want to downgrade or close your account. Choose a new card. If you're downgrading to another Chase card, you'll need to choose the new card you want. Transfer Balance. If you have a balance on your Chase Sapphire Preferred, you can transfer it to your new card. Close the account. If you're closing the account, make sure you pay off your balance in full before closing it. Downgrading your Chase Sapphire Preferred can be a smart move if you're not using the card to its full potential. By carefully considering your options and following the steps outlined in this video, you can easily downgrade or close your account without any hassle. So, what are you waiting for? If you're feeling like your Chase Sapphire Preferred isn't the right card for you, it's time to take action. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time,